Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to hit today. Another CME may be due to hit tonight or tomorrow. We'll look at some eye candy, seismicity, and a trio of studies on magnetic field impact on insects. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We took more M-class solar flares, but the X-class events have died down. Our focus moves to the southern sunspots now. We are inside the coronal hole stream, but it is relatively weak with calming geomagnetic conditions this morning. Let's start a deeper dive by seeing the GOES X-ray flux chart. Flaring has dropped down since the X4 event yesterday morning. There's still a high chance for more eruptions. We still have two large active regions. The northern group, which has made the most flares, is departing now. The southern group, however, continues to gain complexity, which you see here as trailing development begins colliding with the established spots ahead. We'll be watching that one. Solar wind shows we are inside the plasma stream of the coronal hole. Sustained higher plasma speed in purple there, but it's not too fast, and it has stabilized, leading to calmer geomagnetic conditions compared to the onset of that stream. Next, we're looking back to May 4th when those southern spots disrupted peripheral plasma during an M-class flare. NOAA briefly put it on their endless spiral yesterday, but it has now been removed, with impact expected late tonight or early into tomorrow. Now, despite their removal of the event, I do think it's coming. SOHO is updated now and shows the eruption with a good chance of making a minor impact in the coming hours. By the way, the bright light you see coming in on the right is Venus, reflecting sunlight brightly as it comes around the far side for a heliocentric opposition with the Earth. That swarm in Hawaii is still ongoing. Still not much in the way of surface activity at the caldera, but the magmatic tremors persist. We'll be watching that as well. Up next, you know... For all the problems with black hole science, I was actually a bit excited to watch NASA's proclaimed visualization of falling into a black hole. I was underwhelmed. To think this could have at least looked cooler, even while residing wholly within the realm of imaginary science, wasn't all that unreasonable. Alas, a letdown. Lastly here, folks, a trio of studies on magnetic field sensitivity in insects. The first two hit fruit flies in nature very much in the infancy of that examination, but showing promising results to confirm their magnetosensitivity. But then we have a great one out of Russia on the larger topic of the geomagnetic field impact on insects overall. Remember, every level of the food chain will be both directly and indirectly impacted by the ongoing geomagnetic excursion and magnetic pole shift. The whole world is about to change. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.